from Stonemaier Games, and I'm here for round three of game 52 of Rolling Realms. 19.4 in the first round, 13.5 in the second round. Today we have a combination of the ever fun Tapestry, the Society based on Red Rising, and the new promo, Skulk Hollow. So in Skulk Hollow, uh, yeah, so this is a fun one. You're kind of pushing your luck a little bit because... So we've had some fun pair rolling in this game, this particular game, but we don't want to roll pairs in Skulk Hollow because if we do, uh, the monster is essentially hitting us and we are losing the possibility to, um, to gain the resources from that number. So we're hoping to kind of take care of different aspects of the monster before any pairs are possibly rolled. So let's see how that goes. Um, I'm going to check on my cat real quick, who is... Uh, Biddy has having some, been having some digestive issues, so I want to make sure what he's doing right now goes well, and then we'll jump right into the game. Uh, let me know in the comments if you're here so I can see if comments are working or if I need to pull out my phone and do that. Um, I'm sorry for the weird lighting today. It's a little odd. I will turn my camera down while Biddy is finishing up over there. We'll see what we're working on today. There we go. Okay, hopefully this is in focus. Is that in focus for you? It doesn't look in focus, but hopefully... Yeah, it looks actually really out of focus. I don't really know if it, the trick to get the camera to focus. And of course I can't see comments. So I'm going to pull up Facebook another way. Biddy's doing okay so far. And view comments that way. Okay, so Chad, Hilda, um, Ian. Ian is here. Celebrating his birthday, going to Book of Mormon tonight. That's awesome, Ian. Let me check on Biddy to make sure that went okay. Let me turn off sound real quick as well. All right, come on, sound. Sorry about this. Okay, sound is off. Focused. Biddy seems, are you okay, bud? Yeah, you're okay. Okay, good boy. Okay, we're good. Seems out of focus again now. Uh, but oh, there we go, back in focus. Let's do this. Turn one. A four and a five, okay. No pair on the first roll. Five and a four. Would love, always love sixes for tapestry, so we're not quite there. But uh, it's good for society. I like high numbers for the society. And can we do anything for... So there's a cost to take care of this monster that's attacking us, the Guardian. So with the four and the five, we would either need a coin or a heart. So if I could get a heart on this turn using that four, that could be really good for Skull Hollow, which is possible. Let's give it a shot. Oh no, but I have to use the four here and the five here. Or a five over here. Can I get a five? No, I can't get I can't get a heart out of that. So I'm gonna put the five up here in the society. And um I am going to put the four somewhere in tapestry in a way that is good. How about so I, I wanna leave open the possibility of filling up this space with um with sixes. I don't know if there's a great way to do that with starting with a four. So let's just try to get a coin out of it. We'll, we're going wild card in Tapestry and we're seeing how it works out. Not the usual strategy. And uh, yeah, that's it. Turn two. Uh, Tom says he's in bed because it's late here in Europe. So I won't be playing playing along today. we will play on YouTube next week. Oh no. And there's a pair. There we go. We're getting hit by the monster right away by the Guardian. Uh, but Tom, thank you for playing. Go to bed, good night, have a good weekend, and good luck on YouTube later. Uh, Jonathan's here to play as well, and Garrett is here. Happy Friday. He says, it's been a fun time. Looking forward to round three. Thank you, Garrett, for joining in. We have a pair of sixes, which we don't want. This is the, maybe one of the few times where we don't want sixes, because in Skulk Hollow, what it means is, since we haven't marked the six here for the Guardian, we have to eliminate its resource benefit, so we can't gain that coin. We can still gain the star, but we can't gain that coin. So it's not disastrous. I think in an earlier playtest version of it, you lost the entire, the whole thing, and that was a little bit too mean. 
So pair of sixes. Sixes are good in, the, in tapestry, good in the society too. We've already lost the benefit there. So let's go for a six here. That's a coin and a heart. And we'll put a six. So I, I removed the, the possibility to put three sixes over here in the tapestry, but I can still put two of them. Let's go with this one. There we go. There's another coin. So if I want to put a coin in Skolkalo, it has to cost a coin. But let's, let's go for it, just in case we roll a pair of coins. There's one to create a one value die. Here's another one to pay this cost. And we're going to mark that off to gain a star and a pumpkin. All right, turn three. Another five and a four. We've seen that before. Five and a four. Um, all right, what do we do with that? I have a heart over here. I don't really want to use a coin in Skokalo at this point, if I can help it. And the five and the four could be okay. And in fact, the four is pretty good in tapestry right there. I like that four. Hmm. The five actually works decently well there too. Leaves open some, some possibilities. Might be better than a six at this point. Let's use the five here. So one, two, three, four, five, get a pumpkin, and we'll use the four, spending this heart right here to gain a pumpkin and gain another star. All right, what are you all up to this weekend? Do you have any fun plans? I uh, took a quick climbing break today, did a little very short rock, indoor rock climbing, and then tomorrow we're doing some very early morning disc golf. And we're going to a concert tonight, our first concert since the pandemic began. A local band called Me Like Bees. So that'll be a fun excursion tonight. One and a four. Oh yeah, I didn't, oh man, I didn't do anything in the society last turn. I should have. That's going to hurt, but that's okay. Four and a one. Neither are good for Skull Hollow, unfortunately, but, uh, but we can use them elsewhere. Four is actually pretty good over here. Four is also good in the society. Yeah, I like the four in both places. Well, I need I do need know that I need a one here. So let's put that one right there and let's use the four right here in the society. I can't believe I forgot that last one. I do have the three pumpkins to make up for it, but last one I really should have used a one value die to fill in that bottom row. Garrett says he's starting a new job in a couple of weeks that's entirely work from home. So I'll be working on setting up the office for that this weekend. Oh, that's fun. You're gonna get uh, anything fancy for the new office, Garrett? A pair of ones, good. We've protected ourselves against a pair of ones, or at least I have. I hope you have too. Um, so a pair of ones normally would be bad for Skull Kahlo, but we have avoided a treacherous fate. And I'll definitely put one of those ones down at the bottom of the society. I'll put it way over here. And where to put the other one? I think maybe this corner up here, and I'll try to put a four right there in tapestry. So let's put one right there. I have no use for it in Skulk Hollow, and I'm running out of time. I have four more numbers, so every one of the last four turns, I need to do something in Skulk Hollow. Again, kicking myself a little bit for the society, but we'll double up later and make it work. All right, turn six. A three and a one. Three and a one. I like that three in the society. I also like the three in... Uh, if I, uh, in Skull Hollow, yeah, there's there's a three for me to use there. Hmm. And I can't really double up on it, can I? That is too bad. What to do? I think I need to do something in Skull Hollow. Yeah, okay, we'll use the three. Three, there's a pumpkin. Gives me a heart, gives me a star. And then the one will go in the society, I think put that right there and I could create a one for tapestry do I really need I need a four I need a two and I need a couple numbers here probably three numbers I don't exactly know yet where I need that one so I think I'm gonna play it safe and not put it there is that the right move as I know I need a four there that, that that yeah I don't I don't really know where I'll need it so I'll wait on it Garrett says nothing fancy just getting stuff organized and laid out nicely. Maybe a sit-stand desk in the future. I love my sit-stand desk. Uh, I think it's called Up 
desk maybe or uplift something like that um i'm sitting down at it right now but i really do like it one and a six for turn seven one and a six again the one is probably for the society the six let's put the six over in skull collar the six no longer works in tapestry so there's that here's another pumpkin i've lost the pumpkins that i need to double up in the society but i got another star here and the one uh yeah i need i need twos can i roll a two but the two the one will go down here I don't know what to do in tapestry at this point. I need to ideally just complete some rows or columns if I can. Um, but a, some twos would be awesome. Twos would be wonderful right now. So let's try to get some twos with the final couple rolls. Here we go. And not a pair of twos. There's a two, a four, and a two. A four and a two. Oh, I was waiting for a four in tapestry, so that's great. Two is wonderful in the society. Also need the two in Skull Kahlo, unfortunately. Let's see if we can make this work. I think the four is a safe bet in tapestry. So I will put the four up here. So that's gonna give me a pumpkin and a heart. That's great, pumpkin and a heart. Now this two. I would love it if I get one more heart and could copy. Actually, I could get that one more heart. If I put the two down here, I could get one more heart and copy the two. Although it's not quite enough. I'll have to use two coins to do it. What? Oh, man. This is a tough choice. Uh, I'll put the two down here. It's, it's so many resources. There's a two. Although I could just put a one down there, too. Is that better? That might be better. Yeah. Let's just create a one value die. Put it down there. That'll give me all those resources that I need. Gives me a heart. Gives me a coin. And then the two can go over here in Skull Kahlo. Cross off that heart, gain a coin, gain a star. I like Skull Hollow in that uh, it can be a little punishing if you happen to roll pairs, but it feels good when you avoid doing that, like when I rolled that pair of two, uh, ones a little while ago. And you really only need six turns to complete it if you're being effective in the other realms. See, Jethro just joined in. Jilly just joined in. Um... Chad says he's finishing up. Oh, I'll roll first on the final turn before I read these comments. A six and a three. Might be workable. We'll see how that goes. Uh, Chad says he's finishing up the adoption paperwork this weekend. That's great. Wow, that was a lot of paperwork. We, um, we will then just wait to get fully home studied. That's great. I hope that goes well. Chad, that's amazing. We're going to celebrate that milestone. That's really cool. Jethro is here too. He said uh, he had fun playing yesterday. Got a 15.4 and his daughter got 11.3. Jethro, I believe, is in South Africa, so very late for him or very early, one of the two. Um, but thank you for playing along on a delay. And Chad, yeah, Chad, that's really awesome. I think you know how passionate I am about adoption, being adopted myself, so I think that's wonderful that you're pursuing that. Six and a three for the last turn. Can we do something with that? Six doesn't work in tapestry. The three does, but I don't know if it gives me much. Um, and then I need a five in Skull Kahlo. The society is my best bet at give, getting a bunch of stuff. So maybe I need to focus on that first and then do something else. So let's try that. Let's put the three, put the three here in the society and then create a one value die that I'll manipulate into a two with three pumpkins. So I'm allowed to use this realm twice. There we go. Now I get a pumpkin back. I get a heart and I get a coin. And I get all six stars from the society. Now, I still have that six to use. It doesn't do me any good in the society, but it does do me some good in Skull Kahlo if I can turn it into a five, which I can now. Turn that six into a five and spend one coin and put that, uh, use it as a five right there. Uh, I spent the coin. I get a heart. I also get a star. So I have all six stars from Skull Kahlo as well. Can I get a little bit more out of Tapestry? I believe I can now because I can use these hearts that I now have to copy the three, which completes another row. So I'll use three hearts to copy the three and put it right here. So close to doing a little bit more over there. I guess I could have just completed this column and gotten a coin, which would be fine too. But it's a little bit more satisfying to do it that way. In fact, that actually might be better though. 
to get a little bit more resources because it does only cost the one coin. Okay, so I won't use those three hearts. I have four hearts at the end. I will just use the one coin to put right there to complete that column, get the coin back. Unfortunately, I don't have any pumpkins left, so I can't double up in tapestry. I can only get three stars out of tapestry. So that is a final score of 15.5. Pretty good. I avoided a rough patch there. Um, I see Corey just popped in. Hilda says, laid back weekend planned. Uh, farmer's market in the morning. Love the farmer's market. Game group in the afternoon, possibly visiting our local vineyard during the long weekend. That sounds like a great time. Sorry that I'm looking at my phone again today, but Facebook comments aren't working. But yeah, 15.5. I had fun with it. Good combination of realms. Let me know what you scored in the comments. And if you're watching in the future, remind me that I got a 15.5 and that you got an even better score than me. Or a worse score, that's okay too. We're just here to have fun. Thank you all for playing game 52. Oh, a little comment from Jilly here. She says, hope all is well. Joining for the first time. Thank you for joining for the first time, Jilly. And only with half an ear as I'm cleaning in the meantime. Discovered Rolling Realms only recently, so I am still finding my way around it. If you ever have any questions during the live plays or in the future, Jilly, that's what we're here for. Right? That's what I'm here for. And people in the comments are very helpful too. I love that you've joined us. Thank you so much. I hope the cleaning goes well. Um, Chad says, enjoy the concert. Ian got a 15.2. Total was 51 for Ian. That is a great score, Ian, overall for the game. That is wonderful. What did I get here? Um, 29, 38, 48. Oh, wow. You did really well, Ian. Um, I had a 48.4, I believe, if I did that correctly. 48.4. Ian got a 51 for the game. That's awesome. All right, I hope you all have a great weekend. Thank you for joining me live. And if you're in the future, thank you for joining me in the future. I'll see you then. Take care. Bye.